In DuPont's tavern, Hawkeye and his friends prevent four roughnecks from carrying off the young and lovely white fawn. Magua, however, gets away, taking Alice with him. One of the roughnecks, wounded, manages to make it back to his cabin, where Cora has taken shelter. Take any more? We have to stop, please! Even little baby could follow big tracks we leave in snow. Shut your mouth and walk, blonde hairs! I can't! I just can't! All right. In that case, you die. <gasps> Sergio! Canipao! Magua! Hake sum! Wasau! Ahey! Oh, to Wakina! I say ya, who I come? Oh, Tio! Yena! Tai hey, Han! Washika! Oh, to Magua! No home! I say, may I ask what it is this gentleman wants? Red Forehead ask if you are Magua wife. Magua answer no. Well, you're certainly right about that. Red Forehead very happy. You not Magua's. <laughs> Maybe you at last have found husband. You please him. <gasps> He has no more than a couple of hours of advantage. We'll catch up with him, Duncan. If nothing else, at least it's easy to make out their footprints in the snow. Not for much longer. What do you mean? A snowstorm will be hitting us soon. Are you sure, Great Serpent? The voice of the forest speaks clearly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. By Jove! I wish I were still that pig-headed, obstinate military man who believed that sort of talk to be rubbish! How much time, Father? Three hours, son. Four at the very most now. Not enough. Not nearly enough for us, I'm afraid. We will make it be enough, Hawkeye. But to do so, we must run as though burning coals were touching our backbone. We can't with this snow. We risk falling knee-deep with every step. We'll just have to make up some snowshoes then, won't we? What on earth? Wakito ko, Magua. Mohikan et wa Anglikam. Aiki me ha mae la hom. Mohikan? Chelfashil. Long rifle nitka a jingachkuk. Hut! Wada! your bridegroom, blonde <gasps> hairs. Magua go off to follow tracks of Sister Cora. What? Then you clearly didn't know where she was. You never did transfer her to another village, did you? No. Magua think Black Hair's dead. But Black Hair's remarkable little girl. Very special. <gasps> oh, am I in heaven? No, not yet. You still have a long wait. Are you sure? I thought that's the only place with angels. <laughs> How long have I been lying here unconscious like this? Five or six hours. You've lost a lot of blood. 
But the wound isn't serious. The bullet exited, and you'll be fine soon. Then it was you who bandaged me up. You did a good job. Oh. It was the least I could do. If I hadn't found shelter and food in your cabin, I'd be frozen to death by now. So then I'm alive thanks to you. And you're alive thanks to my cabin. I would call that starting out on the right foot very definitely. Well, may I ask you, who wounded you? Indians. A group of filthy redskins. They killed three of my best friends. I'm the only one who survived. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry. You're sorry I survived? Oh, of course not. Oh, I see. You like your little joke. I'll tell you. In spite of everything, I think I'm a lucky fella. A very, very lucky fella. Hmm, most interesting indeed. All right, mine are ready too. Let's go. The rest of you must follow our trail as quickly as you can. Come, my two sons. Just a moment. I need some of this curious footwear as well. There's no time. And it takes quite a while to learn how to use them, Major. I intend to be there when you catch up with them. Very well. See if they're the right <sighs> size. <sighs> 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 <laughs> My dear young friend, I do believe it behooves us to follow Great Serpent's advice. Fine cook, Cora. Thank you. You have no idea what a relief it is for me to feel warm at last. When I think of that wicked old hag, I get so angry I could oof. It must have been terrible for you living in that village. But nonetheless, it was a bit foolish of you to try to escape in this weather. I know. I can see that clearly now. But I was ready to die rather than stay another hour with those savages. They're animals. Every one of them. I don't know. We could tell right away. As soon as we walked into the inn that things were looking bad for that poor little girl. Those ugly brutes were going to kidnap her. Why do you think they wanted to do that? I don't know. How can you understand what those subhumans are thinking? Maybe they wanted to make <gasps> a slave out of her. My friends and I were doing our best to protect her, but they killed the old man. They killed my friends, and they set fire to the building. That's just horrible. Yes, indeed. A really terrible thing. Did you manage to find out who those Indians were? What does it matter? They're all the same. All filthy redskin pigs. Well, some perhaps, but not all. You of all people can say that? After the living hell those savages put you through? It's true. It was a terrible time, but only... One of those miserable toads was actually called Great Serpent. <laughs> and that's a fitting name for every man jack of them. You didn't... Say Great Serpent, did you? Yes. Can you imagine that as a name for a human being? Yes, Great Serpent, Cora. Like I said, that's what they all are and should be treated as such. You have to cut off their heads before they sink their fangs into you. Oh. Oh. Curse the luck. He found a group of Indians to join. Only two horses and other very light footprints. Many women and old people. Are they friends or enemies? Enemies. 
since one of them gave his horse to Magua. Hurons, I gather, but too few of them to catch us in a trap. Let's get moving, then. We'll catch up with him soon enough. out there, Cora. You'll catch your death of cold. The wind is rising in the sky. You must come take a look. It's black as pitch. I'll take your word for it. But why don't you come back into the cabin? You should take a look. It's almost overpowering. Oh, very well. If you absolutely insist. <sighs> yes. It seems you were right. There's definitely a blizzard on its way. And a great big fat one at that. Huh? What is this, Cora? What tricks are you playing? <sighs> hey, let me in! Cora! Oh, hey, it's cold out here, come on! <clears throat> That's a war party. Too many for us. Not necessarily, mm -hmm. but we have to act quickly. <clears throat> Make it stick in right under that overhang. <laughs> Move, now! <laughs> Anything strange, my friends? I should say it was a clap of thunder. No, it's an avalanche. No, merciful heavens above! Move, uh, move! Uh, Behind the trees, quick! Uh, 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 Professor! Oh no! Forget me! Save yourselves! Come on, Professor! Oh. Heave! Come on! Take cover! Where is he? Duncan! Where? Uh, I don't know. The avalanche carried him away. He's there! I saw him! Come, Professor! We must hurry! Uh, it's my fault. It's all my fault. <laughs> He's here. Help me! Help me! Uh, 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 I know he's here. 
here. I know it. I saw him. Uh, no. It's of no use, my dear. Oh. Oh, oh, here he is! Duncan! Huh? Uh, by all the saints in heaven! Oh. 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 Duncan! Duncan, my boy! Is he... is he... No, he's alive. But his body feels like ice. We must build a fire, then. No, I'm afraid there's no time. Uh. Look over there! What we have to do now is build a shelter. Quick! But where? And how? Under the snow! Come, please, I'll need your help. <sighs> May I be of help, my dear? Yes, Professor. Gather branches, like those ones. As many as you can. Of course. I shall get thousands, my dear. Do you think the avalanche got them? I don't know. But for now, we must find shelter. Down there! And now start throwing snow on top. All right, that's enough. Now let's get him inside. Now close up the entrance with snow. At once, my dear. Good Lord, my girl, what are you doing? We have to warm him, with our bodies. Mm -hmm. It's the only way he can possibly be saved now. No one can hear you. <laughs> no! You're not as good a nurse as I first thought, my angel. Take a look at this. My wound is bleeding again. Oh, oh, oh. Keep your distance. Don't come any closer. You wouldn't kill an unarmed man now, would you? Oh. Oh. Oh, you swine! Oh. 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 You are really a very naughty little oh. angel, Cora. Oh. Did you know that? Oh. Oh. Before I kill you, tell me one thing. You figured out I was lying, but how did you manage it? Great Serpent is a friend of mine. You're a friend of a oh. redskin pig? Well, that's good to know. Oh. It'll make killing oh. you all the more oh. pleasurable. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Magua! <laughs> now you owe Magua your life, Black Hairs. I don't know your thing. I went through agonies on your account. Black hair's very ungrateful. But 
Magua give her gift all the same. Oh. Scalp of white pig who try to kill her. Hmm? Ah. Come back, foolish girl! It is over now. Let's move. Maybe our friends need our help. I say, look at his eyes. They're opening. He's coming round. Welcome back among us, my lad. But I... I'm... <laughs> He's clearly still a bit disoriented. How do you feel, Duncan? Fine, but a bit confused. What happened? Where am I now? Well, the fact is, we all of us <laughs> owe our lives to this young girl, White Fawn. Yes, she's a remarkable young lady indeed. Well then... What can I say but join in the universal <laughs> praise and offer you my thanks? Colonel Monroe! Uh, hmm? Professor! Sir Huxtable! Sir Huxtable! Colonel! Major Duncan, where are you? Uh, uh, no, I say, here we are, old chap. <laughs> oh, I'll be fricasseed. Look what just came out of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> this is indeed a pleasant surprise, I must say, my dear fellow. <laughs> Ah, I pay a day!